Hey guys! Hey guys! It's time for another Sci-Fi Friday review. This time we're reviewing Z Nation Season 2, Episode 9, titled Roswell. If you haven't seen the episode yet and you want to avoid any spoilers, you're going to want to skip this video and come back later because everything we say from this point forward is going to be a spoiler. I gotta tell you, for, for a moment there, I really thought they were doing aliens. Yeah. <laughs> they, and it totally would have worked because it's a sci fi channel. I mean, they did a zombie tornado. Why can't they do zombie aliens? Z Nation might be the only show on television that can just repeatedly jump the shark, and it's okay. Yeah. It totally works. Yeah. It works for the show. Like, if that had been aliens, I would have been equally satisfied with this yeah. episode. But I'm kind of glad it wasn't. I was like, I bet they wait till the, like, the last minute and yeah. then they pull off the helmet and it's actually a person. <laughs> yeah. And I was all in for it being aliens. I'm like, holy crap, they're doing it. All right. <laughs> and I was down for it. But no, it ends up being Dan Scully is behind the whole thing, which is a huge X-Files reference. Yes. And there was a lot of geeky reference in this, in this episode. There was a Star Trek reference, Jurassic Park, Aliens... X-Files, mm -hmm. they had a, a lot of little Easter eggs in this episode, which I thought was really cool. Yeah. Also in this episode, no Citizen Z. And it's been a long yeah. time since we've seen him, and I'm dying to know what he's been up to. It looks like he's going to be in the next episode, yeah. though. Because, yeah, it's been like four or five episodes. It's been, it's been, been like forever. Time. And people have been speculating, maybe he just died off screen. No. Or, but I'm like, no, no it's, I imagine that we're going to get a, he a heavy Citizen Z episode in the future. Yeah. And we're going to find out what he's been up to. Yeah, I agree. But my favorite thing about this episode <laughs> is 10K just trolls the crap out of Murphy yes. through the entire episode. Well, my uncle, you know, he had a Sasquatch pelt. <laughs> you know, just constantly. And Murphy just like... <laughs> <laughs> It's Those two are hilarious, yeah, because Murphy's just like, shut up, no, there's no aliens. Yeah, but what's awesome is up until this, well, up until last episode, they had kind of a very, uh, conf their, their relationship was based on an entirely conflict. Yeah, especially after um, Cassandra. Cassandra's death, yeah, like, they were not liking each other, so yeah. it's kind of nice that they're kind of back to sort of joking with each other. Although, I don't know if 10K was really joking or like, let's see how much I could piss off Mur uh, Murphy. <laughs> well, I think it was a little bit of both. Like, yeah. I don't think 10K's uncle actually, you know, ever said he had a Sasquatch pelt mm -hmm. or had ever had an experience with aliens or anything like that. I think 10K was just trolling Murphy. Yeah. And I love that because 10K, he, he, he doesn't usually have a whole lot of dialogue. But he actually was featured pretty heavily in this episode. Yeah, he definitely was. Like, you know, he killed tons of zombies. You know, I forget what his final number was, but let us know in the comments if you, if you mm -hmm. caught what his final number was. But he has a lot of Z's he killed yeah, in this Yeah, he episode. killed like 10. <laughs> it was... Uh... <laughs> it was a lot. There, there was quite a few. And just the way their relationship has changed over the past two episodes, I really enjoy. I hope I hope they get an episode together where it's, you know, basically those two characters Yeah, like they together. get separated from the group somehow yeah. and they have to work together to get back or something. Which, which they basically did in the, in the second half of the last week's episode. But I think now that they're kind of, war not, well, kind of warming up to each other again, I think if they do that again, I want to see that. Also, the character of Bernadette in this episode. <laughs> she was so funny. Yeah. I, I love the, I love that character because, like, she was having these experiences. So she was completely legit convinced that this was happening. And then when she found out it wasn't, she wasn't that heartbroken. She was like, oh, okay, well, whatever. And then she was like, well, oh, crap. I'm going to crush all these people if I go back. Oh, let's just keep up the bruise. We're not ready. Yeah. I can keep that going for, like, 50 years. <laughs> so she has kind of a, an alien cult now. Yeah, yeah. And they'll literally follow her anywhere. Yeah. Be like, oh, but that's probably best for those people because yeah. they, with that type of personality, they're going to get themselves killed out there. At least with her and her yeah. little group, she can kind of mold them. And you, she could just tell them, the aliens want us to be more prepared, so we have to learn how to defend ourselves. Mm -hmm. Or if, if they're in trouble, if something's going down, they, they told us we got to move. And so then they can uh -huh, leave. Yeah, so yeah exactly. She, so she can actually be you know, kind of the rictator. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she can protect them better than 
they would be protected. Like, if she just went back and said, yeah, it was all a hoax, they'd all go their separate ways, and they'd all probably end up dead before they got out of Roswell. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and also, that, that actress who played that part was in Galaxy Quest. So I thought it was... <laughs> I thought it was awesome that she was in this episode because in Galaxy Quest she played an alien. <laughs> and I, I just got a kick out of that. I thought it was neat. And finally, what the heck is Zona? Because yeah. according to Scully, it's like almost a paradise. And that's where he was supposed to take all of the advanced technology that the government yeah. was working on at Roswell. Yeah, so like, is it something government? Is it something private? Um, he doesn't really say, but it's some sort of uh, monetary thing because he does mention, oh, that's above my pay grade. I wouldn't be surprised at all if we see our group accidentally end up at Zona. Yeah, yeah. And I'm really excited for that. <laughs> Okay, I think that's pretty much it for this review. If we missed anything, if there's anything you think we should have talked about that we didn't, comments, <laughs> let us know down there and we can discuss it. Also, if you enjoyed this review, and we certainly hope you did, be sure to let us know by clicking the like button and subscribe for more reviews. And thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.